Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this logo animation inside of After Effects without using any third-party plugin. So, if you're new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. And if you're gonna like this video, then don't forget to hit that like button also. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So as always here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, I'll name it as May Animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration we are not going to choose much more duration. So I'm going to choose let's say 30 seconds only and background color is black color and simply hit ok. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection. Then I'm going to select my text tool and I'll create one text over here for the font I'm going to choose poppins and bold version I'm going to choose and let's type your text first like this now select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now this text is gonna act like our reference here so I'll go over here and I'll convert this into the yellow and I'll lock this layer then select this text tool again and type text over here and let's type B first then select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this or instead of that you can simply move this over here let's select this reference layer press T for opacity and let's decrease the opacity and then we will lock this layer let's select this text and let's adjust it over here so this is gonna be my b so hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit ctrl t to select your text tool again and let's change this text to o select this text press p for position and let's bring this over here select this text hit ctrl d and let's type your w select this layer press p and adjust the position let's move this over here select this text hit ctrl d press p let's call it as l and let's move this over here select this hit ctrl d type the text i select this press p and let's move this over here select this hit ctrl d let's type n select this press p and let's move this over here select this hit ctrl d let's type g select this press p and let's move this over here like this now we will delete this reference layer we don't need that and let's hit u now first of all we will select this o and we will bring this layer at the top i'll select this o and i'll press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center i'll select this and i'll choose yellow color for this one then i'll select this g and i'll select this and i'll select pink color for this one and for all of them i'm going to stick with the red color now let's go to the shape tools and choose ellipse and for the fill i'm going to choose black color only and simply hit ok let's zoom in a little bit and by holding shift i'm going to create one small ellipse over here then select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press v let's adjust it over here press s and let's increase the size select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it and move this over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's move this over here select all the three layers and make it apparent with this o okay let's make this fit so we will get this kind of balling stuff over here like this okay and yeah this looks good to me now you can select all these three dots you can click on this shy icon over here for, if you want to see press simply press f4 to switch between these modes and click on it and lock these layers and you can click on this option so it will hide those layers okay so we don't need to focus on unwanted layers which are not gonna admit so let's select this o press p for position select this position right click and choose separate dimensions create one keyframe on both uh, zoom in a little bit or let's delete this y keyframes we don't need to focus on y position let's create one keyframe at x position only go to around 20 frames and again create one keyframe now go to the start and I'll bring this totally up to here 
like this okay uh, let's go over here and go somewhere around over here and let's move this layer to at G okay and after few frame forward I'm gonna move this select this keyframe hit ctrl C ctrl V so it will come over here so if you see this animation now we will get something like this then like this and then like this and let's go over here and instead of uh, this is over here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna move this over here okay like this now select those keyframe and hit F9 like this now select this O uh, let's go to the last keyframe which is over here and create one keyframe at Y position like this and hit page down button two times and let's move this keyframe over here and select this X position also and we will create again one keyframe so a bit, so as you guys can see there are mm, two frame gap between these two keyframes and select those Y position and hit F9 okay and let's go over here and we will create again one keyframe at Y position and in middle of that we will bring this thing over here select those Y keyframe and hit F9 like this and now I'll select this X keyframe and by holding shift I'll select this X keyframe also and by holding control I'll simply click on it so it will remove the easing ease out effect on them now select this Y keyframes let's go to the graph editor zoom in a little bit right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph and select this handle let's move this handle over here make sure to hold shift and move this handle over here select this move this thing over here select this and move this thing over here like this so we will get this kind of ball bouncing animation and after that go few frame forward i'll create one keyframe at y position and in the middle of that i'll bring this over here again so if you hit play we will get a little bit of bounce okay now let's select this o press r for rotation create one keyframe and hit the u again go over here let's make this minus two so if you see along with this we will get this rotation animation also go over here and let's make this minus one this time like this and let's select those keyframe and hit f9 let's hide all of this alphabets now so we can only see this ball over here like this okay let's go over here i mean over here two frame forward i'll create one keyframe with rotation go over here and let's make this minus two again like this okay and if you want then you can make this minus three also so we'll get two rotations okay so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this and something like this okay now let's open this g over here and at this point i'm gonna select this g and i'll move this over here and let's go a little bit over here like this up to three seconds and select this G and press P create one keyframe go over here again create another keyframe go to the start and let's bring this downwards now select those keyframes hit F9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this so if you see this thing now we will get it will look like this G is uh, doing this stuff like this let's move this a little bit over here okay yeah now uh, we need some mask for this G to hide so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select my rectangle make sure that fill is black let's go over here and we will create one mask press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center let's bring this layer over here select this and let's call it as mask and simply hit ok go over here and let's move this thing over here select this g press f4 and choose alpha inverted mat okay so we'll get this kind of stuff now this is for this g and stuff now we will animate all of them over here 
so let's press p for position create one keyframe zoom in a little bit go to around 20 frames create another keyframe or instead of 20 frame let's go to the 15 frames only create another keyframe go to the start and let's bring this totally downwards select those keyframe and hit f9 like this now uh, obviously we need to adjust it one by one so let's adjust it like this this end should start from this point so i'll move this over here let's move this time indicator a little bit forward then at this point i want this i should start to animate so i'll move this over here let's move this time indicator again select this l this should start from here then select this w and at this point i want this b should start to animate like this okay now uh, select all of these alphabets and press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as text and hit ok and i'm going to select this rectangle and i'm just going to create one mask like this for this text okay so if you see this stuff now we will get something like this okay uh, select this all of these layers press f4 and enable the motion blur double click to open this text form select all of them and enable motion blur press ctrl y to create one solid background and i am going to choose black color and let's bring this totally backwards and if you see this now we will get this kind of animation okay so this is how you can create simple logo reveal animation or it's kind of text reveal animation also inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned